tonight on The Block. Our four couples are delivering their most ambitious makeovers yet. I reckon we pull them in. And it's deadline time for their latest challenge. I've got to say, I'm pretty disappointed. Our couples have been going hard for 10 weeks now. That's 70 days straight renovating. Having put in so much of their mental and physical effort, they can barely remember what it looked like when they first arrived. It was an absolute disaster. A run-down 40-room backpackers hostel. And it's only through the sheer willpower and creativity of these couples that this block is being transformed into four highly desirable first-class apartments. They've put their heart and soul into these renovations. And with room number five due on Sunday, they're really starting to feel at home. Welcome to The Block. Previously on the block, they had a common goal. Doesn't seem to be anyone else around, does it? They worked like a well-oiled machine. You have no respect for other people's work. They did it for love. We need that money. And failure was not an option. You want me to meet a deadline? It's not going to happen. <laughs> and if we don't get there, then, then yeah, we don't get there. place. <laughs> I have to buy it, Andrew, sorry. Yep, I don't think we can do that. Mm. One month to go, which is both exciting and sad, um, <clears throat> we're just starting to enjoy the, the unit and I can't wait to use our kitchen tonight when it's all set up. We've had um, dirty dishes for 71 days, so it's um, a matter of washing them in the sink and now the dishwasher's all hooked up. I was just trying to read the instruction manual because it's like you got to take a, a, a hex course just to figure out how it works. When's this wall going up? Today, mate. Done today? Done today, finished today. So there's going to be no access from this yard through there. I don't wash the walls up, mate. There's no way of just building a wall to a point. I would really like to be able to get rid of that and then finish well, it Well, we can do whatever you want to do, but you'd have to speak to Jace about oh, it, because well. he needs to sort out what he wants to do in his backyard as well. So. Yeah, I realise that. All right. The problem for Andrew is, once the dividing wall is built, he'll have no wheelbarrow access to his courtyard. And that means the old sandstone barbecue and the entire laundry block will have to be removed through his brand new apartment. And that would be a real headache. Does that have to be finished today, or can we just leave a gap? Because I've got to take that. I've, just I've, roll I've, I've got absolutely no reason why it has to be finished today. Just, I think maybe just hold off um, until maybe Tuesday next week or, or that'd Monday be, next week. That, that'll be fine, mate. Great. I'll okay. tell Dave. It's just bedlam in there today. The sparky took longer yesterday. The oven's not in yet. We've got to power the whole thing up. I've got a tiler there. I've got a builder there. The doors and windows are going in. I just wanted to get out of there this morning. It's total chaos at the block this morning. And not just because everyone has to deliver a room this Sunday, but also because they're racing to deliver the common area at the same time. And there's big money at stake. If they can complete the foyer on time, they have a $10,000 cheque to split between them. If we get finished the stairwell on Sunday, get another $2,500 for the budget, which is handy. And that sort of looks like he's taken the running of it by default, so 
Looks like I sort of got the, the building job by the pot. I've just whooshed down to pick up our paints for the common area. Sure. And I need, um, I think it was the, uh, the Zulu plane. Yep. And oh, it was all run through. This morning, Kirsten picked up the paint and the, there was some kind of an issue because the paint was ordered correctly, but she probably didn't check the paint cans when she picked it up because we ordered gloss for the, all the doors and architraves and matte or low sheen for all of the walls. What we actually ended up with was gloss for all the architraves and doors, great, in the right colour, but the stuff of the walls was semi-gloss and that's a really bad idea to put semi-gloss on rendered walls. Too easy. When we found this out, we went down to Bunnings because we needed to pick up some paint anyway for our place. And um, we had run out of British paints, British paints vouchers, so we had to pay for it out of our own pocket, but we got the right paint just in the nick of time for the painters to start painting. I thought it'd be nice to get away from the smell and the building noise for 10 minutes. So I like this little place, it's nice and quiet. Away from it all. We paid to actually go through our budget and um, return a few things so we can actually afford to put things on those shelves. <laughs> the budget is desperate. As you can see, we really, again, went all out on the kitchen. Which means we're broke. This where the jib is. Hello. G'day, mate. Hi. So when can we walk on it though? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right to the door tomorrow. Yeah. I believe you. No, Pretty I believe good. you. Well, I think about nine tenths of, of what needed to be done out there has been organised by Stephen and I, but to our detriment because now we're behind in this apartment. So we've really got to look after ourselves because you can't forget that this is a competition. I don't really see anybody else doing any work out there, just Stephen doing his sanding. I did, um, I had a chat with Jamie last night. She felt like the two of us have taken on too much and they feel like they haven't done enough. So I said, well, why don't you come up at seven? But she never turned up. I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't get it. We're actually pretty much looking a lot better than we usually do, but having said that, We'll invariably have something to finish off. Am I nervous? I'm nervous we're going to get fined in about three seconds. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a six hundred dollar fine. I am. Us. So, Chris, let's test it. Go for oh, yes. Oh. I'm very impressed. Now I'm feeling like I don't want to move out. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie and Andrew have had a novel idea for their living room. Oh my god. A TV which spins around so they can watch indoors and outdoors. Oh, my God, that is so cool! Oh, my God, that is so cool! I'm just tired. And I'm sick of mess. I'm tired of mess. However, in saying that, being the optimist that I am, just spreading light and love throughout the whole block, I love my windows and my French doors, and I love my kitchen. I love it. And I love my tiles. And I love my husband. Oh. Nothing. Nothing, Jack. The drill sergeant. any of us have eaten as much pizza in our whole life. Let's not forget that Ash's pizzas are pretty good though. Yeah. But Matt's favourite food is pizza. So I know. So it's like his dream come true. Yeah. 
Jason, some pizza here, mate. It's pizza if you want it. Oh, thanks, Jamie. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jim. How are you, mate? It's weird. The dynamics for me have shifted, where that I'm looking at sort of Stephen and Rich and saying I feel is more distant from you guys than all of a sudden I feel from Kirsten and Jason. And that's a really weird mind game. And mind sort of, it's really messing with my mind in terms of how you interact with these people. You know, I tend to sort of chop and change, yet I'm finding the people around me are sort of, I suppose, changing a bit. And I'm finding that really quite bizarre to deal with. I'm just cleaning the whole place. And now I'm painting. So, and I'm going to be painting for a long time yet. I'm trying to paint with love, even though I'm very tired. A little bit. I'm just worn out. But I'm still trying to paint with love. <laughs> it's been tough the last week, but we're both feeling pretty pumped. So, watch out. We thought our Sanders would be here, sort of now, to get this started. Next doors have already started. Um, there's no great rush, as long as they're here at some point this morning, since we've got to go out. I don't know, just keep pottering along, I suppose. Oh, look, I, I just think the guys have been really flat the last couple of weeks. They've, they certainly haven't been themselves. They're really tired and we're certainly not, not doing grumpy. as much stuff. Yeah, they've been a little bit grumpy last couple of weeks. Um, but I, I sort of had a chat to Stephen and just asked him whether there was anything going on between us, whether I'd done something. And he said no, he was just really tired. He's really keen to get home. We actually felt that they were pulling away from us. You know, like, mm. they, they, yeah. they, they kind of went down to Jamie and Andrew a lot more often than they were coming over to our place. And I, and I said that to him And too. we were fine with that, I, you know. I said that to him. I said in the beginning, you know... You were our we buddies. We were buddies, you know. And then all of a sudden, you, you leave, push us aside and then go downstairs. And then, and then all of a sudden, we're the outcasts. So, we haven't yeah. done anything anyway. So if it is us, it's actually something that I think those guys need to ask us about. I can't think what it would be. We haven't changed and we've tried to be as as open and friendly with, we ha a, a, with them as we did from day one. After the whole thing is over, maybe we'll all become really good friends. But while it's still on and while we're living in that block, I don't trust you, man. I just don't. I wish I could, but I don't. We're driving over the Harbour Bridge, all the bubble wrap flies off it. And then some guy yells out, you're about to lose your drawers. And the two top drawers are hanging. Are the drawers about to fall out? So we stopped in the middle of the Harbour Bridge and took the it drawers out. It was so lucky. We've got them though. They're safe. Never send us to pick up furniture again. Never. Honey, watch the road. I've got a huge favour to ask. We are desperate, like we have no time. And do you know what I've done? I've done something really stupid. I brought the wrong black folder and the other black folder I've left at the block and it's got the paint vouchers in it. But can I please drop the paint voucher in in the morning? Can I ask the manager? We are desperate. I've got like no time. I'm desperate. I'm just in the morning. That. In the morning, please. I understand that. Um... I've just got, I've got, we've got this common area and I've just got no time to get back and get it and the painters are there and it's been an absolute, absolute schmozzle. Sure. I promise I'll drop it back. back. Tomorrow I'm going to kill you. Absolutely. You only live around the corner from me, I'll come and burn I'm it not going to hide. I, it's not like I can run away. Throw I, some paint strip over the fence, that'll I, fix you. That'll be fine. Yep. Thank you, Kev, that's no great. Worries. There's no skirtings, there's no architraves, there's nothing done down on the bottom floor here. Nigel needs to paint and the thing is if no one, no one's here and doing it, it's not going to get done. I don't think any of the guys and the couples realised how much work was involved in a short period of time, and no one really organising it. Are they still waiting? You guys still waiting? Are they home yet? Yeah, yeah, man. All right. When they get home, the Tylers are waiting for Kirsten to pay them. They've gone to yogurt. Jason, it's Richard. They've gone to yogurt. Yeah, good. Where are you guys? Right, because the um, Tylers are sitting out here for an hour waiting for their cheque. Okay, Just all right. tell them people have got to be paid today. 
No, she hasn't, but I'll be giving her a call now. He just asked me to write a check from my checkbook and get reimbursed from the body corporate. <laughs> so that means they're doing even less than we thought. Yeah, it's not that she's not really a treasurer of anything. Could we make till Monday for the Thailand to be finished? Yeah, that's bull. You know what? We might just write the check out of our checking account and get reimbursed. Hi, Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. As always. <laughs> Andrew's floor sanders have finally arrived. Seven hours late and three hours after the council's noise curfew. What's the hell have you been here for? Oh, 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, this room, guys. I cleared all of this out. <laughs> So we can put this... No, it's got to go. It's got to move. It's got to move. All this has got to move. It's all right, guys. Stand around. Watch. We don't need no help. Range is in your place, mate. Now, yeah, just walk straight in. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I swear to you, mate. They stopped standing. Yeah, yeah, the range is there. Oh. All right, we're just going to be issuing a $600 form. Good. How much weight? How much more do you have to do it? Maximum half an hour. That's it. Oh, all right, thanks. All right. If, if we get another complaint and we hear it again, it's the same again. Yeah, no. All right, have a good night. Zach's paying for this. No, no problem. Zach's paying for it, we're not paying for this. We wanted you guys here at nine o'clock this morning because we knew after one o'clock we couldn't make any noise. Now our room's not gonna be finished. You know what, Andrew, I'm so mad about this. Mate, the council lays down the the rules and whatnot, mate, so um, it's just up to the people in here to comply with that and they won't see us again. Don't get worked up about it, who cares? Andrew, we're not going to finish. Jamie, who cares? It's not our fault. Look what we've done. Look where we're at. It's nothing to do with us. The guy's paying. We're not paying. I'm not paying. And he's only got half an hour more of noise. Yeah. Give it, give it an hour. Let's turn some music up really loud. Shut the front door so he can't just walk in. He'll come back. Yeah, and when he walks in, by the time he gets to your door, we turn the music down and the floor sanders are hidden in your bedroom. <laughs> I'm being creative here, guys. Guard dog. It's like the dog getting the mailman. No, it's the dog getting the councilman. I am really nervous, actually. I'm just worried that no one's watching them from that way. Because if he comes in on foot, then we've got a problem. I can cover the car. <laughs> I've got Andrew on speed time. I just rang him then just to say, call me when they're done, so I'm not standing out here for an hour. And then he entered the phone, he goes, guys, stop, stop. I'm like, no, no, it's OK. Just tell me when you're done. I think I panicked him. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> What's going on? It is a circus. So you got the tiles down. Yeah. The balustrade's going to happen. Yeah, uh, tomorrow. Happening tomorrow? 11 o'clock. Tomorrow at 11 o'clock, cutting yeah. it fine. Yeah, I know. It's an equal amount of stress not getting that common area done as it is finishing our room. Because, you know, we only have a one in four chance of winning, whereas the common area, you will have a chance of getting two and a half grand in your pocket. It seems like you guys have been pretty proactive. Oh, it? we all have. We all have. So you can honestly say that, that there's been equal distribution of work? Um, yeah. So there will be equal distribution of cash? <laughs> That's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you, it's your money. No, 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 absolutely it will be. Come with me. The man 
He just drove past, but he went around the corner, but I can't see him, so I'm assuming he's gone. <laughs> Let me make this very easy. Has there been equal distribution of work? No. No. After the body corporate meeting, the morning after, um, Andrew comes up and says, I can't do the tiles, I can't get them. So we run out and go Went to, to the our tile, tile supplier and yeah. like, what can we do, what can we do? And we came up with a tile. Downstairs was very annoyed and their noses were out of joint because we had taken on such a proactive role in organising all of the trades. And I couldn't believe that that was the way that they were acting mm. because you know what? We never asked to organise all the trades. We didn't want to have to do all of that. But we got the best prices in the time frame we needed it to get done. And that's the bottom line. Instead of criticising us, criticising the trades, criticising everything, just say thank you. Say thank you, and then you'll receive two and a half grand. That's all it takes. I'm going to hand out $10,000 cash tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's going to be split four ways, evenly. Yeah. yeah. How should they feel about receiving a quarter cut? Thankful. Thankful. Okay, so I'm sitting here watching um, <laughs> the auction of uh, the first block. I can't believe we're sitting here. You can't see anything. Rich is asleep. Oh, that's his bum. But we're sitting here watching the block, and this is bizarre. I, I, I can't believe that this is going to be us. Oh, God, look at all those people. <laughs> We're going to put some insulation on the front door, shut the front door, turn the music on full bore, and see if we can get away with it for about four hours. Fingers crossed. Got Rob and Bo. We're trying to um, just short, sharp burst of noise today so we can uh, get through so hopefully the range doesn't turn up. We're going to work a miracle today. We're going to have this all finished. They're going to get their two and a half grand. Everyone's going to be happy, and we're going to be the heroes of the day. That doesn't work. I call my cousin Vinny to come down with a Monara and short everybody out, all right? God, I hate plastic flowers. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, it's you, love. <laughs> Do you know where the colour is? Yeah, around here yeah, somewhere. Oh. Over in there. Cool, thanks. Stay up. Bingo. Oh. <laughs> Stay! <laughs> machinery and everything going on, but we can't hear anything, so... No, it's not us, mate. We'll be out of here. No worries. Well, we didn't catch us. Okay. Didn't catch us, but um, we ran into Stephen and Richards and took what the tools oh. that we could. And, but he, he, he knows. He goes, I know. And it's just, I can't see it going to happen. Is it the guy? Do we know it's specifically him? I just went and spoke to them. Short guy with dark curly hair, wears a hat all the time. No, like it's not. Name. It's all three of them. They're basically sick of the noise. They said the guys were making noise at 2am, like just with DVD and stuff like that. And they're just, I think they're just over it. Yeah. So I think, you know, it's all compounding and they're just going to keep calling the ranger. So I reckon we pull the pin, which is disastrous for us. Yeah. Oh. Disastrous. For all of for us. For everyone. We did our best. It was basically an impossible task. And we would have gotten it finished had there not been any noise. But you gotta be considerate of the neighbors. Matt's choice to hold the meeting this afternoon surprised me. You know, yeah. if I had a strong relationship with someone, I'd probably just go and mention that the neighbors next door seem to be taking issue with, with the noise and, and let um, it go. Two things, we just wanted to discuss the possibility of throwing, <laughs> throwing a question to Jamie to see if he would let us have an extension. Yep, sounds good. Hi. Um, <laughs> and talk about what 
what you think we should ask for? Is it just a time extension? Should we ask for, okay, $8,000, you know, and an extra yeah. 24 hours to sort of, I don't know. Um, I think we should leave it up to Jamie <coughs> Jewelry to decide what, how I much I wouldn't suggest the, the $8,000. Yeah. If he says $8,000, yeah. But if, but yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, 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 don't say anything about money yet. Yeah. Yeah. No. Just, yeah, we'll wait Even for that. Even if he suggests it, just yeah. sort of, hey. Yeah, I agree. Then we can buckle. The other thing was, we just um, had a conversation with the Navy yesterday, and just because we've only got four weeks to go, and we've only got limited hours on weekends to work, we just want to keep the noise level at night, as well as during the day, low. So, the noise factor for them, I think, is, is causing them problems. He was obviously angry, and he said, look, if it keeps going, I'm just going to stand here with my phone yeah. and ring the ranger. Let's be nice to our neighbours. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. cool. Meeting done. Sorry, guys. Thanks, guys. Sorry to interrupt. Great. Right. Thank you. No worries. I know. It could have been directed. That could have been directed at us. Um, granted, I do make a lot of noise, and even our neighbours at home hate us. So, you know. But right now, I don't... Not all the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> look, if it was directed at us... Um, do you reckon? No, I don't think so. Nah. I didn't get that impression. But if it was, it wouldn't bother me. <sighs> this is how anal I used to be before I started this show. So it's actually cleared my obsessive compulsiveness. See that? I would you make sure that the, all the labelling on every one of them was facing the front. But I'm much better now. They let me out, see, for this show. So <laughs> it's cured me of a lot of, of my quirky... Behavioural patterns. Mm. Oh, there it is. Janice, wow. What did you do? Nothing. This paint this poor. Mm. You really shouldn't be moving out. We're having meetings our battles out there. We're not going to get this finished, really. It's really good on the timber floor. How long have we got? Uh, five minutes. And we still don't have a fridge in there. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Oh! Oh! Andrew! Left hand. Yep. You're pushing it down on me. Maybe that's not helping. Part because you've got the floor's a bit dirty. Okay. Can you... We can't destroy this fridge any more than it is, Jane. Just wait. Just push it this way. That sounds like it's destroying the floor. It's not. Let's go. Pull. No. The PowerPoint. The PowerPoint stopping it. That's all right. That's good. It's great. Say, I'm pretty disappointed. You guys must be crushed. We are. Yeah. $10,000 is a lot of money. <laughs> and most of you probably spent it already inside your own apartments. It's just such a shame, because, you know, I was going to split this four ways. But now I guess I'll just have to split oh. it in half. We would have been finished if we had one more day. 24 hours. And we'd all be at work, so it'd still be a challenge. Just one. Oh, you, you're actually asking? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just thought I'd bleed the moment for just a <laughs> moment. <laughs> One more day. And you expect me to give you guys 10 grand? Yeah. 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 I don't think so. No way. 
Well, we'll leave it up to you how much you want to give us, but give us no, something. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're so close. Everything just needs to be. It takes four hours and we did great. It was a great team effort as well, Jamie. Yeah, we really did try we hard. We really did. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay. How about this? How about I'll give you another day, but I take away four grand. Oh, oh, that's rough. Can six grand's better than nothing. It's fifteen hundred bucks each. But eight grand is so much better than six. Can well, we it's on nothing. Can we do eight and a half? There's no negotiation. Can we do eight? Absolutely eight? not. Eight? No way. Seven five. You're lucky. I'm making this offer as it is. It was money for jam. So what is it? Six grand. Six grand by five o'clock tomorrow. By by body corporate meeting tomorrow. Done. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with that. Six grand's better than nothing. Absolutely. But I hope at least you've finished your own rooms. I hope I didn't come here for nothing. <laughs> you did finish those, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, let's have a look. Who wants okay. it first? We'll go first. We'll okay. Go first. Let's do it. Number one. Always first. This is good. So you've tied in the tiles from the bathroom. Yeah, absolutely. Just so it all through. matches that. You put a bulkhead in yep. to house the lights. So yes. we kept the, the ceiling Hush. height right. through. Right. You've got an island bench with the microwave set into it. Yes. Yep. Free, the Freedom Cabinet. And the the storage. Of that. But check this out. Oh, We've dishwasher got... as well. I've got to say though, it looks very expensive. Yes. Yeah. 13 and a half grand plus some labour costs that were associated with the rest of the room. That's a lot. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot. You know, in the scheme of the block, it's a lot of money. It but of it's money. probably the most expensive room in the house, isn't it? Yeah. The kitchen. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful guys, understated, sophisticated, all the mod cons, Aww. and it still feels spacious. It's excellent. Thank you. Thank you. This is phenomenal. Well done. This is great. Yes. I actually feel like I'm in a home. This is the first time I've walked into an apartment that's been finished from front right to the back door. I love the fabric around the outside. Yeah. We've kept the concrete floor coming through. Yeah. That we started out the front. Beautiful. Yeah. It made what sense I, what I like anyway. most about every piece of work that, that you both have done, whether it's a painting or, or a piece of art or the renovation yeah. itself, you stayed true to your character all yeah. the way through, mm. yeah. and it shows. It's warm, it's luxurious, it's spacious. Let's talk dollars. We're probably at about nine and a half, ten. I haven't got all the invoices and things in yet. Yeah, very nice. Are you ready to be amazed? Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you've done the whole thing. Mm. It's a room. This is great. Yeah. It's a good size. Yeah. It's nice and generous. Mm. Oh, it's a perfect size. For Very it. nice. And you've got a lot of storage. So you've built a cupboard around the, around the fridge. We've got our beautiful Freedom Nottingham and couches and dining table. Very nice. This is cool. Right. And we just wanted to open the room up a bit. Great. What would you like to watch, Jamie? The block. So you can turn the whole thing around and watch it from outside as well. Uh -huh. That's the plan. That is great. Watching the football. Well done. I'll let you put that away. Thank, Thank you. you. That must have cost you, in fact, the whole place probably cost you a pretty penny. No, we made budget. You made budget? <laughs> you made budget? We You're did. joking. I budgeted 26 for the whole, all of it, and I think we came in about 25. For three rooms. Mm -hmm. Dining, kitchen and lounge room. That's pretty economical actually. Pretty happy. Yeah. That's really I made good. budget. That's <laughs> great. Excellent. What do you reckon? Guys, this is astonishing. Let us take you through it. This is absolutely astonishing. That's the only word I can say. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the splashback. <laughs> Look at the fridge. <laughs> you tiled the fridge. <laughs> Who tiles a fridge? We do. <laughs> that is incredible. Cool, huh? With this blind, all you have to do is pull the chain once. <laughs> We could have cleaned the windows for you. Where do you find this stuff? <laughs> okay, most people would just put some kind of pantry or you know, some kind of stock cupboard in there. 
But not you guys. Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're joking. <laughs> Bar and surgery. Oh, no. You've got a home theatre. <laughs> yeah. Which brings us back to the blind. So you block all the light out. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. yeah. OK. You're joking. So the lights go down, the blinds go down, which is why you've got block out in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then the screen. That's yeah. incredible, guys. So what did you sell? <laughs> Our souls. <laughs> Let's talk dollars. 29,640. That's the biggest amount of money I have heard in the history of the block. Yeah, I'm sure. But it is. I must admit, I've never seen anything like this. I am absolutely astounded. Great choices. Well done, guys. Absolutely beautiful. You should be so proud of yourselves. You have absolutely exceeded my expectations, and I think you're about to exceed each other's. Block is now open for inspection. I see they put their AGL vouchers to good use. Yes. That's a nice cooktop, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Could be better. Ah! Uh, oh, look how organised they are. Oh, no! What? Well, it's good, it's good. No, we're better. Oh, they've got food. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. How do you do this? I don't like the times. Well, it's very kind of low-key, isn't it? It's very damp. It's just cold, isn't it? Like, it's like a display home. Mm. It's it looks... Dull. It's just a kitchen. It's kind of bland. Yeah, it's very bland. But you don't know what's been planned for here. Well, it's going to have to flow, isn't it? Which means more bland, more bland, more bland. There's nothing sterile or cold about it. It's warm and inviting. And that's what, what nice you want. Feel. It makes you feel like it's a home. These are wrong. They're great, but they shouldn't be there. You're on the art gallery. Oh, oh nice. Cozy. Yeah, it's small. A metre in space in an apartment's yeah. big. I would have cut that off there. Oh, sticking. look, look. It's sticking to the wall. Look. What? Oh, don't you hate those dinners that buzz? <laughs> wow. Mm. They've certainly been busy, haven't they? Oh, that looks so good. They haven't cleaned their windows. I don't think they beat us, though. I really don't. Rug. I like splash bag. I'll be having a chat with whoever put this sink in. And the art? Very nice. That's nice. You know, it's it's funky. That's pretty cool, the little bamboo. That's Are Jamie's real? little creation she showed me. No, they're all fake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is scary. How cool is That's that? That's great. Do you know what I really think strange? The fridge. You think sitting in the middle of the room? Yeah. I think that's really bizarre. Oh, look at the big ding. I know. They should have tiled it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to absorb. It feels a lot bigger than Jason and Kirsten's will. And I can't really? help it, and I'm not bitching. Their ideas are fantastic. Their style is beautiful. However, they just don't hit it with quality. Oh, my God. Look at this. Kirsten, this is out of control. <laughs> this is out of control. Ah! <laughs> What's going on with that fridge? <laughs> I'm tired that fridge! Oh, it's very, it's very space age, isn't it? I feel, I feel like I'm on Mars. I feel like I'm on a spaceship, but it's nice. Press movie on the touch screen and wait. wait. Oh, this is so the boys. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Oh my god. Press mute on the black remote to get sound. Well, that makes sense. This is pretty full on. Yeah. <laughs> what a classic. I feel like I should be throwing my hands up in the air and dancing on a podium in this environment. We're so bad with technology. What oh, are you yeah. doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's obviously user friendly. <laughs> I think this place is. I think it's hysterical. 
Next time on the block. Box ticking. It's judgment day for room number five. <laughs> what have I done? What have you spotted, Fiona? TV. <laughs> They're on to their next rooms, as well as trying to salvage some desperately needed prize money. Wow! You killed the camera. All they have to do is finish the foyer. There's no solution. On top of all this, they're given their next body corporate task. Oh. <laughs> and fight it out for the cash. Far beneath me to make any problems. 